Road rehabilitation often involves expanding an existing highway lane based on its actual as-built positioning and cross slope. So here we have a case where we want to expand from 13 to 18 feet on this road shown here. But we will exaggerate somewhat some of the scenarios encountered. But let's say at station 0 plus 0, 0, the road is flat for its original 13 feet as built. And the actual double yellow painted center line is to the right of the design center line. So we're going to expand the 13 feet from what appears to be the actual center line in the field and continue its cross slope. Similarly on station 0 plus 50, it was built with a cross slope that tilts downward and it was built such that the center line evidence, the double yellow painted line, is left of the design. So we measure that in the field, measures existing approximate 13 foot offset, and then extend that. So two field measurement points provide the basis for the five foot extension. In this case, on zero, zero, we extend five feet from a point right of center line, and on station zero plus 50, we do the same five foot extension from a point left of center line to achieve a total 18 foot road lane width and do this all the way down the road. So you would accomplish this by doing a series of two point measurements in the field of the existing cross section. So this can be done using serve CE and the command within the routing menu called store sections. Before we go there, let's go to utilities and notice under input edit cross-section file. In the file that we are targeting, we don't, we don't have station 0 and 0 050 measured in the field yet. We've done the others. Notice if we review them, they typically have two points. One referenced as the double yellow, the others as the edge of pavement. So we're going to do the same thing for station 0 and 0 plus 50. We come out and exit Road Utilities and go to Store Sections. We define our alignment as, in this case, a centerline file, which is shown here, subdiv.cl, and that is fine. Now this screen determines how the sections are stored and also if you were warned if you are off your target station when measuring. So if you have a error in terms of hitting the target station of more than one foot. The upper part is a warning um, setting and the lower portion is how you will round. So if you're within one foot you'll round to the nearest five as set here but even if you're beyond one foot you'll just get warned but when you save round to the nearest five. And we will store to a Carlson SCT file format because that's the format used in Stake Road that can be converted through section conversion under Utilities to a column separated, uh, comma or space separated text file, and it can be converted to a land XML file if converted along with a horizontal alignment. And uh, we will store the coordinate points so you see them plot on the screen. So now we'll proceed forward. And you can see we're at station zero approximately in the field. And I'm going to move to a point to the right, mimicking that first scenario. And let's say the road was uh, placed on the ground uh, about perhaps three tenths to the right. I hit it, and it's stored, and it has a good station. And I didn't get a tolerance warning. And now we walk out that station to a point about 12 point something or 13 point something feet to the right. And here we, we're getting close. We're at 7, right 7, right 8, 9, 10, 11. Working our way towards 13. 
I'm using the simulator to accomplish this. And at about 13.3 or, or so, we'll pick up our second point. And then we'll head up to do station 50. In the case of station 50, if I click back in, you can see that we will do a, a downhill sloping line and um, the, the as-built will be slightly to the left of design center line. So let's get back in here and we're at station 17 working our way towards station 50 as we walk there in the field. While we're heading there, we'll go to config. Recommend that you turn off prompt for height and description so you have fewer prompts in this exercise because if you're, if you're taking hundreds of field measurements you don't need to be prompted as long as you have your correct height. So we're getting up towards 50 and we'll be slightly on the left this side. You see we're about one foot left of center line on that station and we'll slow it down now as we get closer. And here we are very close to, to our target and we'll take our, our first measurement with enter or S for store. And it stores nicely. Now on this next measurement we're going to increase our target height to 9 and get that downhill slope we're after. Maybe to exaggerate it I'll go as much as 9.2 and then we'll work our way to the right. And we're looking to be at about 12.5 or so or, or any point in that range representing edge of payment just to get the existing slope established for the extension but I will try to walk beyond 50 and get out of that range, kind of accomplish two things at once. So I'm looking for about 12 point something and I'm heading slightly to the right. I think it's all going to come together at about the same time. There we go. And you see we've exceeded the tolerance of one. We were 51.23. 0.23 beyond our tolerance, but we will continue storing. It will round to the nearest 50. Okay, we've accomplished the store section procedure. We'll X for exit and store our temporary section file. You can come back and store more. That's why it's called temporary. But you can go and look at it. Input edit section file. Look at the, what we've just done. We've added station 0 and 50, and you can see uh, they have the two points measured in the field. On the first one, it's relatively flat. And on the next one, we can anticipate that it has a downhill slope. So now, we will continue on in this process and do the stake road command. So here we go in the stake road by section file. And we will use the subdiv center line here, the vertical tab will be clicked because we, we don't, we're not concerned with a profile in this case. We won't apply a vertical alignment. We go to the section tab and make sure we have the right section file loaded, delete what's there if necessary, and add the correct file. So we hit OK and set your offset to zero. It'll recall what you did last. Go to your first station zero and you can see it corresponds to the be an to the right of the actual design center line and we want to uh, extend out to 18 feet from this first position, this as-built position of 0 0.31. So our target to stake out is 18.31. We go to this point and see what we have. 13.27, so we need to extend it by 5.04. That takes us to a total of 18.31, as you can see in the upper right. So that will be the as-built extent in the field. Now, to get the correct slope calculated, hit the stake offset button, extend current slope, it's one of many options, and just click OK to return, and now you're in a position to stake that flat existing slope as extended five feet in the as-built condition. So you hit slope stake and we're going to use a user-defined slope of six to one for the actual uh, base of ditch. We might be uh, staking beyond it. Pivot point user selection and hit OK. 
And so you can run down and stake that out. I'll head there as quickly as I can. And as we get closer, we'll slow up and try to hit that point right on. And we'll window in for a little accuracy. And you can see we're approaching it. If you go to section view, you can see what it looks like in cross section. So there's our extended position. And we're staking out that uh, position on the ground at 6 to 1, just beyond it. Go back to plan view with this button here. And there you go. When you're close and within that stakeout tolerance, uh, we can accept it. Hit OK. I won't bother staking an offset point, And you have this information in a total form, total distance from the stake position, or progressive, the individual distances from catch to pivot to the various points on that section. Hit OK. And then let's proceed to the next station. Our interval is 50. One way of going there is, uh, uh, is just go to 50, zero this out, or enter 50 there. And notice that section is the other situation. It is sloping, much like in our graphic, and it's starting left of center line. The as-built uh, condition is left of the design center line. Now here, let's do the math. We want to be, from this position, 18 feet total to do the as-built extension. Well, that's 0.29 off of uh, the center line. So we want to be at 17.71. Now this one is out 12.11, so we want to add 5.60. That gives us our 17.71. Hit the button stake offset. Be sure you're set, set to extend current slope. And then it calculates that for you. And, and so we're doing that second scenario on station 0 plus 50 and run over to slope stake, user define, pivot user selection, hit OK, and head up to that point and you're good to go. So that would be the procedure to do these as-built extensions based on two section points. And you could gather all three, left, middle, right, and uh, put them in one section file and do your slope staking off of one section file collected with three points in this um, road rehab, road extension scenario.